If you're someone who's used Outlook for years, you're probably used to using columns. And today we'll review how to see those. If you haven't used Outlook very long, you may not even realize there are columns. I'll show you how to get to those and how to use those today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to use your Outlook columns. Now you may not currently see columns in your inbox, but I'll briefly show you how to do that. There's also an entire video about that if you want to look at that. And it goes through the way to sort if you don't want to use columns. But today we'll focus in completely on using columns, how to add and remove columns, and then how to sort by all of those different columns. We'll jump right into Outlook to start our training. Here in our inbox, you can see that I currently don't have any columns set up. This is set in the newer version of Outlook where we have the drop down, and then there's lots of different options to sort and arrange in here. However, there are even more options available if you choose to use columns. And how you can get to those is to open this up, and then eventually you will see the columns appear. Now, depending on the size of your screen, you may have to pull this further to the right than I had to. Now we can see all of these different columns I have available and I can sort by any of them. So if I had any priority emails that had the exclamation point, those would jump to the top or bottom. It looks like I don't have any of those. You can sort by attached items. You can sort by who it's from. And again, you can do the same thing up here and you can see it's changing as I click on the columns. We're used to seeing everything sorted by received. And you can see they word it a little different here. It's sorted by the date it was received. This just says by date up here. And then if you're trying to clean up your email and get rid of big things quickly, organizing by size could be important. Organizing by your flags is really important for a lot of people. Again, you can come up here and go to your flagged email, but here you can click the column as well. I, I have a few things flagged here. So you can see it jumps all of those to the top. And then when you're ready to go back to normal, you could go back to your received date. And then if you're someone who uses categories, that's extremely helpful as well. It looks like I don't have any in this inbox. But your categories, you can see if I hover, I have a little category box and that would show me the different colors for my categories. So this is how you can use the columns to better sort some of the information in your inbox. And these are all customizable. So I can right click anywhere on any of the columns, it doesn't matter which, and I can choose to arrange by a certain thing, which is what I was doing by clicking on the columns. I can reverse the sort. And then here we have field chooser and removing columns. So let's say I'm not someone who needs this column here, which is sort by header status that I don't even use that. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to remove that column so that I have a little bit more space in here to work with. And I'm not someone who uses this one either. This is sorting by the icon. And so I'm going to remove that column as well. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below the video. And once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on that, you'll get notifications each time a new video is posted. Now I could choose to add some new ones now that I have a little bit more space. And you can also open the, up the space by pulling this further to the right as well. And then I can right click here and do my field chooser. So this will pop up a little box that looks like this. And here I can add additional columns that I can organize by. So who was CC'd on an email. Another important one could be the recipient name if you have multiple email addresses or multiple inboxes mixed together. For this example, I will use the recipient name and we'll put that in. I will click and drag that up here. And now you can see the two red arrows are telling me where I would drop this, where this column would go if I were to drop it. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that over here in front of size. And if I open this up a bit, 
then now I can see which email account I'm looking at. So this can be really helpful, again, if you have multiple inboxes and you want to merge them all together, because then you can even sort by recipient name as well. And if you test out a column and it doesn't seem like what you really needed, then of course you can still right click and remove the column. So that is how you can use your Outlook columns. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenge, feel free to schedule a tech stress breakthrough call. You can do that by clicking on the computer monitor with the heart in it that's above me, or you can go to gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.